What's up, everybody? Welcome to the recording of the week one battle in the IBL. My week one battle. Obviously, as I said in my draft recap, I did. We're in the middle of. We, this is post week three. That's what I meant to say. I did this battle like two weeks ago. So, forgive me if I don't remember everything. I don't remember what I was thinking. But this is, yeah, I am the coach of the Massachusetts Metapods in the IBL. I'm facing Pony, coach of the um, Criminal Ponies. And this is take two on recording this, so I'm a bit flustered because my brother's an asshole. So, let's do this. Um, Ponies, OU drafts were Mega Charizard Y, Garchomp, and Skarmory. All scary. He ended up bringing all three of them. I prepped for them, though. I played as well as I could. Didn't play well enough. I did end up losing this match. Spoiler alert. The Zuyu picks were the Alolan Muck, Blissey, and Moongus. I hate that Blissey. The other two I don't really care for. The Moongus, I'm not even going to touch on because he has already traded it at this point post week three. So, it's no longer on his team. He's already done all three of his free agency trades, and he's traded a Z Crystal once, so he's done with trading. But his Blissey pissed me off. Uh, if he didn't draft that thing, I would have won. Like literally, if he had any other Pokemon there from Yu Yu, I would have won that fight. But whatever. His RU draft picks are Espeon, the Scavalier, and Honchkrow. The Espeon was terrifying, it didn't end up being much of a problem. As you can see, this is take two. I did this because I wanted to make sure that I had spe speed creeped it when I was recording the first time. So now you know. I speed creeped this thing with something. What did I speed creep it with? Who knows? Actually, you probably should know because you saw the team. And you know what's faster than Espeon. Scavalier was terrifying, he didn't end up bringing it. Honchkrow I wasn't really worried for. His NU draft picks were Slowbro, Pikachu Original, and Sigilyph. Don't ask me why he drafted Pikachu, because I do not know. He also drafted the Pikachu Nium Z. Again, I do not know. What I do know is that we were bantering beforehand, and the Pikachu Nium Z actually one-shots my um, Mega Aerodactyl. It does, and so I can one-shot in return, and I have speed. Guaranteed. But that means that if you brought this thing, it would not be a free home clause. Which is what I would probably end up doing if I hadn't kept that. Um, the slow bro, I was terrified for. Thanks to my good buddy Mason, who is hopefully watching this video. If he's not, fuck you. But, um, he made me terrified of the slow bro because of Trick Room. Trick Room kind of screws my team entirely, and during mock battles, he brought a Trick Room Slowbro. He won three out of five of those mock battles. He didn't even end up bringing the Slowbro, though, which was made me very happy to see. Again, I still lost, but he's also already traded both the Slowbro and the Pikachu and the Z-Crystal, so his team is actually much better off now than having a Pikachu and the Pikachu and Z. It was still scary back then, though. Obviously, I lost, so it was still doing good. Um, here, the team that I brought is opening up with Zimbabwe, the Tapu Koko, with Expert Belt, Electric Surge, obviously. Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Brave Bird, U-Turn. Um, I speed creeped the um, Espeon, as I said earlier, because I was the fastest thing on his team. So I speed creeped it, I made my attacks even because I'm a mixed attacker. I have Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Brave Bird, U-Turn. Um, this thing does like 90% to a lot of the things on this team. So Stealth Rocks were very important for me. I did end up getting them up, which is great. I don't remember if he removed them. I don't think he did. It one-shots the Skarmory though, which was a huge weight off my back literally guaranteed one shots 
Next up, we got Moonduck, the shiny Cresselia. Holding the Lumberry, Levitate, again, obviously, it's its only ability. With Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Calm Mind, and Moonlight. This thing, and my next pick, I brought, literally because they can eat any one hit from anything on his team and do something in return. I didn't bring Psychic Stab because I didn't need it. Um, so, yeah. That's Cresselia. She actually gets like three kills in this game. Yeah. Cresselia puts in work. Um, next is Tooncom and the Cafagagus. Fuck. Ignore that. It has Rocky Helmet, Mummy, Hex, Knockoff, Will Wisp, and Toxic. Again, this is my physical wall for the team. It eats any one hit from anything on his team. Something wants to knock it off. It's taking. It's losing its ability because of Mummy, and it's taking Rocky Helmet damage. And then I get a free Willow because it's not killing. Um, I have Willow, Toxic. Toxic was literally there just for the Chansey or the Blissey, and I didn't get it off. It two Pokemon was Toxic. Neither of them ever even came in against the Blissey, I don't think. Yeah, I did not watch the battle before recording this. Probably should have. Would have been smart. I watched like the first five turns, then I had to restart. Um, next up, we have Puzzle the Jirachi, Leftovers, Serene Grace. U-Turn Wish, Toxic Protect, Bulky Jirachi, and I'm really mad that I ran it this way because <sighs> Offensive Jirachi would've been so much better in hindsight. This thing really didn't do a whole lot. It outsped most things on his team, it U-turned out, it could take hits, it was a wish passer, it didn't end up pass. I think it might have passed one wish. No, I tried to, and then it died, so the wish didn't go off. I don't know why, if Pokemon dies, the wish doesn't go off, that's kind of stupid in my opinion, but it's whatever, I know that now, won't make that mistake again, I didn't know that going in, and that's why it happened. Next, we have Liability the Crocodile, who I'm actually glad this is a take two on because originally the moveset that I had written down was outdated. I had update changed it before bat the battle between like writing down the moveset and actually battling Pony. And this team that I built here, I copied off of what I had written because my PC has been updated and my teams on Showdown did not save. So I originally had Fire Fang instead of Taunt, that is not, was not the case. I had Fire Fang originally for the Scavalier and the Amoongus, but I decided I didn't need it. Earthquake did enough, Knock Off did enough, whatever. I would also just swap neither of them, and Taunt would be more useful, and it actually did come in handy. Liability doesn't last more than five turns, but it puts in work. Spoiler alert. I can't say that word really. Um, hmm. But yeah. Knife Warp Intimidate. The Garchomp was a threat, so I needed an Intimidator. I had four of them. It was more of which one I wanted to bring. Liability worked out best. Earthquake, Knockoff, Taunt, and Stealth Rocks. I don't remember in the mock battle how much the Knockoff did to the Mega Charizard, but I know it did it a lot. That comes up in the battle. You'll see. Um, yeah, lead crook with ton stealth rock. Not much more to say there. Knockoff for the Espeon comes in clutch. You'll find out in the battle. Last but certainly not least, fuck, I did it again. I apologize. I am dropping things. That probably did not sound good. I'm sorry. Ladybeard, the female Mega Aerodactyl. She likes her beard. Don't judge her. Um, obviously holding the Aerodactylite with Tough Claws. Stone Edge, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, and Hone Claws. Once I get a Hone Claws up, this thing sweeps. All of its moves are 100% accurate, and it one-shots almost everything. And, yeah, this thing also speed crypt the Espeon. Yeah. That's it for my team. I'm going to switch over now to the battle. So, 
I'm just going to put it on fast because these first few turns don't really matter. He leads us beyond I lead liability. He thinks I'm going stealth rocks or I'm swapping and goes for shadow ball. I knock off and kill. That was huge, getting the Espeon out of there early. Then he goes to this thing. I predict that he's going to go for the rocks, which he does. I'm going to let it play a bit. He goes for the stealth rocks. I know I outspeed. I go for taunt. And that was a huge play because it forces this thing to swap. It didn't have an offensive move, clearly. And I get my stealth rocks up, which was huge. I can't remember if this Skarmory ends up removing the Stealth Rocks or not, but we'll find out. He goes out to this thing, I get my rocks up. Hindsight, I should have swapped. I should have. I should have swapped to the Cress or the Cthagrius. I didn't. As I said in the Team Builder, the knockoff did a considerable amount of damage. I wanted to go for it. I sacked off my liability. Which could have come in and walled the Skarmory some more, but I didn't think about it. So, I go out to Ladybeard, get a free Home Claws here. Doesn't really matter. I didn't Home Claws. Why didn't I Home Claws? Hold on. I don't know why he even swapped there. Cause, no. Yeah, no, I needed to. Yeah, if he predicted the Home Claws and stayed in. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Pretty sure a flamethrower like one shots this thing. Focus blast definitely does. Yeah. I think I just go for home class here though, and he actually whirlwinds me. Nope, I swap. I am all kinds of wrong today. He goes for a roost, I go to Cthagrigus. I should stop narrating every turn. I should make this go faster. This is a long ass battle. I willow here. I should have toxic. That's okay. He has heal bow. Or no. No, he doesn't. Does he? I don't think he does. Yes, he does. I know he does. I'm just letting battle play right now. You guys are seeing everything. If you need to, you can pause the video. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not making any revolutionary plays. I'm going to slow it down towards the end, but I'm going to spare you like the last 50 turns because they're a lot of bullshit. Um, so yeah, he swapped out there. I went for the Thunderbolt just because it was a safe play. Pretty sure I U-turn here. Actually, no. I think he's Scarf Chomp. In fact, I know he's Scarf Chomp. And I swap to the Cthagrius. Yep. Okay. He poison jabs, and he now has to swap. Which means he gets the poison on the poison jab. That's better than getting toxic, but it's still not great. I'm, I go for the free knockoff, obviously. Then I go to Jirachi again to just do something to this thing. He defogs. Why? I don't really know. He just set up his own rocks. Why he would defog, I don't know. He doesn't defog next turn, he just whirlwinds. There he defogs. Again, I don't know why. He just set up his own rocks. And I'm mad there that I didn't kill. And he whirlwinds here. I get greedy and he whirlwinds. I forgot he had whirlwind. I made a lot of misplays. That's a recurring theme throughout all these battles is that I am not good at battling. I can build pretty well. I was very prepared for this team. I was ready to win, I thought, but I just didn't do enough. I couldn't perform in the actual battle when it counted. Hopefully, now that I'm recording it and I got a camera on me, that will change, but who knows? <sighs> yeah, I made a lot of misplays. I don't even really feel like narrating this battle just because it's. I did a lot of things wrong. And the paralyzes, 
the paralyzes were so bad. Toxic, free Toxic on Scarf Chomp, that's fine. I protect. He goes for the Earthquake, obviously. He Scarf Chomp, so I'm not staying in. Why he swapped, I don't know. Because he's Scarf Chomp, and he knew I was swapping, that's why. So yeah, I go to Aerodactyl, and I just Fire Fang. Again, I should have phone claws there instead of here. But hindsight is twenty twenty. And at this point my team was all pretty weak and I pretty much lost. I didn't have my rocker anymore. I expected him to swap there, which he does. But this was the least favorable swap I could have gotten, and I get paralyzed. He pursuits. I protect to get as much health as I can back, but it doesn't matter. I go for the wish, and I try to pass it. And this is what I was talking about. I wasn't sure that... I didn't know that if the Pokemon that uses the wish dies, then the wish doesn't go off. So, Ladybeard did not catch the wish, and that kind of just ended it there. The battle was over at that point. Um, I lost my Wish Passer. My Megaerodactyl was basically dead. This thing pretty much dies here. I can't swap it. I don't know. Yeah, I do swap it because I U-turn. I didn't know that Pursuit worked on U-turn. Um, I think I end up taking out the Skarmory before the end of this battle. And then Moonduck takes out the Garchomp, the Charizard, and the Alolan Mach. And it's just the blissy. Um, yeah. I start trying to set up combines. He T waves me. And I have the Lumberry. Moonlight. He T waves me again. And this paralysis screws me over so many times. But so do his misses. He ends up missing a lot. The hacks were pretty even. I think if we didn't get any hacks though, I still could have won. That's just my opinion. Like if the battle was completely hacksless, I still could have won. But that is half the point of going for the paralysis. I just wish if I had gotten paralyzed half as many times as I did. What the hell is this? Um can I ignore this? Yeah. Okay. I hope that didn't show up in the recording. It was like an update thing. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. Moonduck doesn't do anything. He whirlwinds me out. And I think I just Thunderbolt here. Nope. I die. How do I get rid of this, this thing? How do I get rid of this thing? Does Crest kill this too? <laughs> yeah, I sack that off. And I get paralyzed again. It's just this battle. Yeah, it's just Crest. Crest takes out four Pokemon here. And these are like my only kills too. <laughs> Pretty sure I get six out next Yeah, I do get six out next week. I know I do. I'm also not looking forward to recording that. At least it's a shorter battle, not as much hacks. It was really just me misplaying. And I'm going to tell you right now, as of week 3, I am last in the league. I am 0-3. I am not doing good, and I'm in week 4, I'm facing an undefeated team. So, it's just it's not looking up for me, but I have very good prep for week 4. I'm ready, and I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can dethrone him. He was talking shit, because he's fighting another undefeated team in week 5. He was talking shit, saying, yeah, I can make it to week 5 undefeated. Let's go. That's not happening. I gotta stop him. Um, 
not really narrating over this because it's literally just Cresselia setting up, healing, and doing damage. He can't swap, so he can't pursuit. Or he can, but it's not doing as much. And here he misses a lot, which does cost him. I think I missed a few. Like, I wasn't paying attention a few times when he missed earlier in the fight. But, oh no, he just goes for a slash here. He definitely missed a lot of... He had Fire Blast and Focus Blast on this thing. I guess I wasn't paying attention. When he missed, like... Five of them. Easy. But, yeah. Just... And then at this point, it's a PP stall. I get four kills on the Cresselia, but... Like... Pretty sure the moon blast kills Charizard from this range, so I just went for the moon blast, obviously. But now he has the fucking. He caught the wish. I just, as you can see, fuck this paralysis. And get paralyzed at the worst times. His Blissey didn't have Toxic. That was a big mistake on his part. If either of us had run Toxic, the battle would have gone very differently. If both of us had run Toxic, it still would have gone differently because it would not have lasted nearly as long. But, yeah, this battle's over 100 turns. Um. Just. Yeah, I ask, why no toxic? He tells me it's, yeah, because T Wave had some. J Lo, the guy who ended up fighting week two. Coach of the Sacramento Sandshoes, yeah. He was scared of Napoleon and Drachi setting up on the Blissey. So. Basically, I'm going to pause this here. What ends up happening is we PP stall each other until I'm out of PP. I can't win this fight. Like, yeah, as you see here, the Blissey wins, guaranteed. So, I what ends up happening is once I run out of PP on Moonblast, I just forfeit. Because I knew I lost, I say GG good battle at probably around this point that um him as Sandshrews J-Law coach the Sacramento Sacramento Sandshrews ends up messaging me saying I need to start going for Shadow Ball and Calm Mind so he doesn't PP stall me I didn't end up seeing it even if I did I wouldn't have wanted to take that advice just because it wasn't something I came up with on my own and I'm, I mean, I lost either way, so it's really just unfortunate. Yeah, just kind of keep clicking next turn. Let's go back a few. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized which soft boil cancer. That's just literally fucking. If it had toxic, this thing would have literally. If it had toxic instead of T wave, this thing would have been the worst possible blissey. And I just. I could have handled it with the fucking Drachi if I had run offensive Drachi, but I didn't. I say wish I'd put a Toxic on this thing, I'd have won. I really wouldn't have, that was just me kind of being mad. Really, I would have won, but unless, as I say here, let it play, yeah. No, you're right, if we both had Toxic, you'd have won, because he had the own, no, he didn't have room therapy or heal, but what moves did he have on this thing? What was the fourth move? No, he did. He had... He definitely had Heal Bell on this thing. Because it was burned originally. Yeah, he had Heal Bell. I just want to find it. Um... Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 
I ended up burning him originally, didn't I? I know I did. I remember watching it. Um, it's more of which turn. Um... I don't even care anymore. The point is, the battle was over. I lost. It's a good game. I'm just gonna skip to the end here. Yeah. Are we really gonna do this? No, I'll just forfeit. You win. GG. Good game. Someone else get replay. Um. Yeah, and thank, he says, thank you for your help. I actually was, like, he had never done a draft league. He was, he also didn't speak English very well. It was not his first language. So I was helping him through the draft and everything. It was very fitting that we fought week one. Really sad that I lost, but, oh well, I did. So, it's whatever. So, that's the end of week one. I will... Probably next be recording my week four battle. Maybe I'll do week two in between. But week four I'll be recording live. I'm supposed to be battling him today. Don't know when. I'm gonna message him right after I'm done recording this and find out. See y'all later. Sorry for the long video.